Hello and welcome to this lecture of Company Law. Today we are going to do section 55, which speaks about issue and redemption of preference shares. I have already discussed preference shares under section 43. There is a video available for that. Please go ahead and refer to that. Now, in this section, we would be majorly speaking about the issue of preference shares and redemption of preference shares. Before getting into the lecture, I would like to first apologize to all of you since I have not been able to upload lectures for the last two weeks due to some medical emergency at my end. But now that things are fine, I would be promising you all that I would be uploading lectures on a regular basis. So stay tuned to this channel for all the lectures of C Inter for November 2020 examinations. So without wasting any time, let's get into section 55. Section 55 basically is divided into two parts. First is issue of preference shares and the second is redemption of preference shares. Let's get into issue of preference shares, which speaks about that no company, no company limited by shares, no company limited by shares shall issue any preference shares which are irredeemable. This I had already discussed in the video of a preference shares under section 43. But to reiterate it, the shares that any company will issue in terms of preference shares cannot be irredeemable. It has to be redeemable at a certain period of time. Okay, so the company can issue only redeemable preference shares. This concept is clear. So in a case study, if it comes that a particular uh, particular company secretary or a particular director comes to you for an opinion that whether they can issue shares in form of irredeemable preference shares, then your opinion will be as per section 55, subsection 1, the company limited by shares cannot issue shares which are irredeemable. They have to issue shares only which are redeemable in nature. Redeemable means that there will be a certain tenure for the issue of preference shares against which on the maturity date of the or the redemption date of the preference shares, the amount that is the principal amount will be redeemed to the preference shareholders. I hope this part is clear. No. The second thing is, what is this pre period of redemption which is fixed by, which is fixed by Companies Act? This is the maximum period that is allowable. Maximum period that is allowable. So, if it is authorized by the Articles of Association, then the company can issue preference shares liable to be redeemed. That means only redeemable preference shares can be issued liable to be redeemed within a period of what is the maximum period that you can and you can keep is not exceeding 20 years not exceeding how many years 20 years so it shall be not exceeding 20 years so i hope this part is clear so maximum period for which an company limited by shares can issue preference shares is not exceeding 20 years but there is an exception which is made by the companies that so the company may issue preference shares for a period not exceeding 20 years that is the general rule but as per exception the company may issue for a period exceeding 20 years but not exceeding that is maximum of 30 years so it will be but not exceeding 30 years but not exceeding 30 years so that if the company wants to issue preference shares from a period of 20 years to 30 years, then in that case, such company shall be involved in infrastructure projects only. Infrastructure projects only. Infrastructure projects means dam building, road building, uh, in terms of uh, real estate companies, in terms of bridge building companies, flyover building companies. These are all infrastructure projects. Okay, if a company is involved in which kind of project? Infrastructure projects. Then the period can be exceeding 20 years, but not exceeding how much? 30 years. It shall not exceed 30 years. This part is clear. The general rule is clear, not exceeding 20 years. An exception is not exceeding 30 years in case it is an infrastructure project. But there is a condition. What is the condition? The condition is that it shall be subject to redemption. It shall be subject to it shall be subject to redemption of how much 10 percent 
of 10% beginning from 21st year at the option of the preference shareholders. What does this mean? Beginning from 21st year, say the company has issued shares, preference shares for a period of 30 years. So from the 21st year, 22nd, 23rd, the company will redeem every year 10% of the preference shares till it comes to the 30th year where there is only a balance of 10% left. Okay, so in 10 years, the company will redeem the preference shares in 10 different equal installments. Okay, but this is at the option of the preference shareholders. If the preference shareholders given consent that the amount may be redeemed at the 30th year, then that is also possible. Okay, so this part is clear. Now, this was the issue part. What is the issue part? Company limited by shares cannot issue irredeemable preference shares. It has to issue only redeemable preference shares. Second, what is the period? Period shall not be exceeding 20 years. That means the maximum period can be 20 years. But if the company is involved in infrastructure projects, then the period cannot exceed 30 years. If it is, if you, if the company in infrastructure project is issuing preference shares for a period of not exceeding 30 years, then from the 21st year, each year, at least 10% of the total amount of the preference shares shall be redeemed by the company till the 30th year at the option of the preference share holders. So this is the part of issuance. So now let us come to redemption. In terms of redemption, preference shares can be redeemed out of profits, out of profits which are available for dividend or out of proceeds of fresh issue of shares made for the purpose of redemption. So there are two sources through which you can redeem different shares. First is out of profits only, which would be available for dividend. Or the second one is, this is the first one, the second one is out of proceeds of fresh issue of shares made for the purpose of redemption. This shall be made for the purpose of redemption only. If it is for any other purpose, that particular amount which you are received as fresh issue proceeds cannot be utilized for redemption of preference shares. Is this clear? Now, let us go further. So, redemption is possible out of profits, out of profits, and the second is out of proceeds of fresh issue of shares made for redemption. Now, in case it is out of profits, in case it is out of profits, then it is sum which is equal to the nominal amount of the shares, sum which is equal to the nominal amount of the shares to be redeemed shall be out of profits transferred to the CRR account, transferred to the CRR account, okay, capital redemption reserve account, okay, and this particular account can be applied by the company only for the issue of bonus shares, okay, the company can use this, utilize the CRR account proceeds for issue of bonus shares. Now, issue of bonus shares will be taken care under section 63, where I will discuss this point with you again, okay. Just remember one thing, in case the company is utilizing profits, then the sum equal to the nominal amount has to be, has to be transferred from the profit to the CRR account. We have done this particular point in accounting subject where you would have done redemption of preference shares chapter. Okay, so both this part is clear to you. So the sources from where the redemption will happen is profits or out of fresh issue proceeds. Okay, now the next some more points which are there in preference share, share, shares redemption itself. That is that only fully paid up shares can be redeemed. Only fully paid up shares can be redeemed. That means partly paid up shares will not be redeemed. Okay, next is the class of companies as may be prescribed and whose financial statements comply with the accounting standards prescribed under section 133 I will cover section 133 separately in a separate video. But if a class of company which is, which is prescribed, okay, and it complies with the accounting standard, then in that case, if it is yes, then in that case, premium payable on the redemption shall be provided for out of profits of the company. So in case there is any premium on redemption, then that should be provided only out of profits of the company if the company is complying with the accounting standards complying with the accounting standards okay 
if the company is not complying with the accounting standards and is not prescribed to follow the accounting standards in that case the company can pay the premium payable out of profits or out of securities premium account you would be remembering we are done section 52 which are covered what are the utilization of securities premium account in that one of the point was premium on redemption premium on redemption so that will also be covered by securities premium account in case the company is not complying with the accounting standards and the company has not been prescribed by the section 133 to follow the accounting standards i hope this part is also clear now one more part is in case the company is not in a position redemption date has come and the maturity date has come but the company is not in a position to redeem any preference shares or to pay dividend to any such shares then in that case the company has an option if the company obtains consent of the 3/4 of the of the 3/4 of the preference shareholders which is which should be in value of such shares or and sorry and company gets an approval from the tribunal then the company can issue further redeemable preference shares further redeemable preference shares equal to the amount due including the dividend if any as redemption of the previous preference shares so the company is currently not having any funds to redeem the existing preference shareholders so the company says that we will issue you fresh preference shares with fresh terms which are favorable to you which are agreeable by you and you can give me consent on the same and such redemption such issue of fresh preference shares against the redemption will be deemed to be redemption of the previous preference shares will be deemed to be the redemption of previous previous preference shares okay this point is clear so on issue of such further preference shares unredeemed preference shares will be deemed to have been reading so consent will be required of amani 3 4 3/4 means 75% at least 75% okay this point is clear now see this thing is again given in a particular chart in your icai module itself which says if the company is unable to pay dividend or redeem the preference shares take the consent of 3/4 of majority approval from the tribunal issue for the preference shares and one more point is whoever are the dissenting that is those preference shareholders who have not consented to such an issue they can be forthwith paid up okay they can be redeemed immediately okay so this part is clear this is our redemption of preference shares so redemption of preference shares is very very simple i hope you have understood the same so that's it for uh, this section 55 which is about issue and redemption of preference shares uh if you have understood this particular lecture do like this video and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed to this channel share this video with your friends which can help them for their examination purposes stay safe stay healthy thanks